Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a custom ID for your game, like mine down in the right bottom down corner. If you want to know how to do this, make sure to like and subscribe and watch until the end of the video as I review how to make this. So, anyways, you guys. Uh, yeah, so anyways guys, goodbye, peace, see you in the video! Hey guys! So hi guys, and I said I'm gonna be showing you how to make this ID card, and let's get, and in fact, it's pro it's quite simple, I'm not gonna lie. So in fact, let's get straight into it. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this. And I'll leave a model link down in the description. I'm just going to create, I'm just going to delete it and redo it. So, first off we're going to go into a starter GUI. And click the plus sign or just click on starter GUI. Right click insert object and screen GUI or click on it and control Y. Screen UI and uh, oh my god, no, and so and in the screen UI, we're gonna insert an image label. Oh no, very uh, wrong, cut row UI, uh, where is it? Where is it? Frame, I'm gonna put this frame down here, make it a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna make it this wide and this model will be down in the description by the way if you guys need it so if you guys need it check the link in the description it's gonna be the first link down in the description so yeah and then in the frame we're gonna Hit control Y or anything, basically it's an object or the plus sign. And we're gonna insert a image label. This image label rename it name to player image and player image with a capital I and a capital P. Make sure and let's put this down a little bit and hold up i'm gonna make the background real quick better uh background color, background color three i'm gonna make it like hold on 68 68 and 68 I'm just gonna do it like this because most end game have this have this uh, custom ID they always do it like this and now we're gonna insert a text label and also hold on yeah, hold on, I need a resource system again. And gonna put it up like this to be completely matching. Alright. And then we're gonna let's do the okay, the main thing you have to do is change the name obviously to player uh, name. Capital N, capital R, R, P. So, yeah. And the most thing, the most important thing here, we have you have to do, is go down to check text skilled. All right, you need this for it to work. Otherwise, your name is gonna be super tiny, and everyone like, I can't see my name. All right. So yeah. Now we're done. 
I'm just gonna make it look a lot better so background transparency all the way up to one and this background transparency background transparency one and now I'm gonna select this I'll leave I'll leave a link to this down in the description and if you don't have the roundify plugin I'll also leave it if you want it to redo it or instead of copying the link I'm gonna click roundify and now round oh god frame roundify and now it's roundified as you can clearly see and now this frame there's there's gonna be everything zindex is one in here so i'm gonna change it to two don't worry okay player image three uh, i mean four and player name three And I'm not really liking the black thing because it's just so light. So I'm just gonna make make it text color three. Text color three. Make sure it's like I'm gonna do it white. And now let's start to do the script. We're gonna in inside the frame. We're gonna insert a local script. If you're editing anything, you have to make sure. If you, oh, and also I got the dog theme. You just go, you just go to uh, Studio Settings Theme, and you can search up Theme Studio Theme. Search it up, Doc. But enough of this. Let's just get straight into, you know, doing it. So first off, we're gonna do a local frame equals script dot parent all right script dot parent is in equal to a uh what's it called uh, is gonna be local frame is gonna be in equal to this all right all right hold on let me make the frame a little bit bigger there we don't we're not gonna put any even anyways that much uh stuff so yeah so now we're gonna define a local player so local player equals game dot players dot local player hold on yeah, I'm pretty sure it's right. Hold on. Yeah, it is right. Good, good, good. All right, now we're on. We're actually not that much done, but we're almost there, guys. I mean, it's pretty simple code to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah. Ah, so we're gonna go to we're gonna do this now. It's pretty simple, guys. I'm not even joking. Alright, what did I just even say? Anyways, I'm gonna define the user ID local user ID. Equals player dot user ID, and now and now we're gonna do a thumb type. So we're gonna do a local thumb type. Thumb with a cap uh, type with a capital T, P. By the way this type over here make sure it's a capital t or i i like to call it i don't like to call it capital but i'm just gonna call it uh uppercase because it's supposed to be called like that so yeah uppercase t equals equals enum 
enum or enum dot thumb type thumbnail type which is this thumb type is thumbnail type dot dot to be uh, my personal favorite is the headshot but I will show you everything I will show you everything uh, that is uh, dot I'll show you uh, the avatar post, bust, avatar thumbnail and the headshot my personal favorite is the headshot so I'm just gonna type it so now hit hit enter look and now we're gonna do a thumb size so local thumb size equals enum dot dot thumb nail size nail size dot now the 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 right one is the the correct one for every game they use the correct one which has it perfect on their um avatar and stuff like that so the right one is size 420 by times 420 aka by 420 so i'm just gonna do 420 times 420 now now we're gonna do frame also we're at 420 go down two lines frame all right i'm eating by the way while doing this so that's why i'm not talking frame dot player image dot image dot image equals to a content wait did i even do the content hold on i didn't do the content hold on <gasps> what am i doing i didn't even i forgot about the content it's the most important thing okay all right local content local content equals equals to a us uh, equals to a game 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 dot uh what's it called game dot what is it called i forgot there's an after it i forgot what's it called hold on uh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. get user thumbnail async get get user thumbnail async async inside here we're gonna do user capital u and capital i user id user id thumb thumb type thumb uh, type thumb size and for this is gonna equal to a content hold on content now I'm just gonna wait five seconds for it to work and now content and then the last piece of code that we're gonna run is the player name alright so frame dot player player name player name dot txt no not txt that's normal computer stuff so dot text dot text equals player dot name and we're done guys and now we can go ahead and test it out
But one thing, I'm just going to lower this down and test it out. Alright. There's a problem. Let me see what what is the problem. User ID from correct and so Hmm. Hold on. Alright. Hold on. I'm checking my phone to see what happened wrong. Hold on. Alright, I'm just going to copy this from my phone and put it on the computer, uh, bam, and poof, I have it, now, let's test it out, there it is, it just wasn't working for a minute, but it's fixed, so, as you can see, it's done. I'm gonna leave this model down in the description and leave the plugin down in the description. Plugin is the second line, and yeah. So, anyways, you guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications to to get notified when I do the when I upload any more amazing Roblox scripting tutorials. So if you did, so anyways you guys, goodbye. Actually I forgot to say one thing. Uh which game did you see these um see these custom see these uh custom IEs down in the bottom left right here? What games did you see these in? I wanna know what games did you see these in, so please comment down below because I I wanna know because there's not that much games out there with them. So I want to know, you know, where did you see them? But if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on push notifications to get notified when I do any more amazing scripting tutorials in Roblox. But if you did enjoy, hope you, hopefully you did, because I'm not going to sit here telling you to subscribe again. So if you did enjoy... Make sure to like this video. Give it a big smash, okay? I don't care. Give it a big smash. Anyways, you guys, goodbye. Peace.